If you're watching this, chances are you want to know what's better, OBS or G4 Shadowplay. And don't worry, I'm going to tell you, I've got this little Word doc set up, I'm going to scroll through it, we're going to talk about it. So first off, what are you going to be using it for, okay? Are you going to be streaming? Are you going to be recording? Are you going to be capturing game clips? Are you going to be recording for YouTube? Are you going to re be recording for TikTok? All of this does matter to some extent. However, in my personal opinion, NVIDIA Shadowplay only really has the edge in capturing game clips. But I'll explain, okay? NVIDIA Shadowplay, very simple, comes straight from NVIDIA so you know it's legit. Pros should come standard with a GPU purchase, okay? Because if you've got an NVIDIA GPU in your computer, you're going to have the companion app to update it or whatever. And with the companion app comes NVIDIA Shadowplay. So chances are you've got it already installed on your computer and you might not even know it. Uh, try Alt-Z and see what happens. Um, shouldn't negatively affect software because it's from an official website. It's so from an official company and it's not going to... It's not going to be bloatware or anything because they have the GPUs, okay? GPUs run in loads of games, okay? So uh, it, it should just run silently in the background. It shouldn't mess up anything because the, the NVIDIA GPU needs to work with a game and therefore NVIDIA Shadowplay should work just fine. It's got a cool name, okay? I, 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 will, I will be the first to admit it. Shadowplay, it's got a cool name. Clips feature, okay? This is when you want to... Act to passively record in the background, but not store any of it to your computer until something good happens, okay? So you're constantly recording, but you only save the recording when something good happens. So for example, you get a kill in Fortnite, Apex Legends, COD, whatever. You click Alt-Z, you click on, uh, they'll have a clip feature and you'll click save clip. You'd preset it to how long the clip will be. Is it going to save two minutes worth of footage? Is it going to save 30 seconds worth of footage? Is it going to save a minute's worth of footage? And then it will save it to your computer and you're just fine. Very simple, very easy to use. Cons, it will freeze when screen recording browsers. I have found this out personally. I haven't seen any tutorials that fix this, although I could be wrong. I may make one if I find out a solution. It freezes when screen recording browsers. This is particularly evident if you're trying to capture something from a YouTube video. It will work for like 15 seconds and then for the rest of the clip, it will it will freeze. Okay, there will be no movement on the screen. However, it will capture audio perfectly. So if you're trying to record music or something, that will work too. Options are limited, okay? It's a very base level software. You can have three different stuff you can do with it, okay? Clips, you can uh, record, and you can stream. Those are the three things you can do. Very simple. Doesn't need anything, no faff. It's just a very simple base level software. It's closed software, okay? To my knowledge, NVIDIA is not going to show you how the code works. It's a corporation after all. It needs to keep its secrets, which is good in some cases, but bad in others. It means there's not going to be any new updates made by users, or you're not going to know whether NVIDIA might be secretly capturing your data or anything like that, okay? So you're just not going to know these things, but it, it shouldn't really matter to that extent. And once again, it's technically not free because you do need an NVIDIA GPU. If you don't have a GPU, you won't be able to use it. If you have an, uh, a different brand of GPU, you're not going to be use it either. Okay, so technically you need an NVIDIA GPU, so it's not free. Well, we come to OBS, okay? This is the tagline I like to say. It's not even a competition. At this point, OBS should be your go-to software. And once again, I'm not, I'm not biased because I've been using Shadowplay for years. I'm talking years, okay? So if I say it's time to switch to OBS, it's time to switch to OBS. Pros, massing, absolutely crazy amounts, okay? Titans of industry, if they're using it and there's paid software out there and they're using this OBS open source free software, we know it's the best, okay? It can pretty much do anything. Plugins uh, enable the, the software to, I know, stream from multiple devices, do 24 seven streaming, crazy stuff like this, because users themselves have programmed this into the software. You can download them, just make sure they're legit first, and you just add all this extra functionality to your program. It's open source, so you know it's legit. It will always be free for the most part, and it won't be mining data because you can look through the code yourself. You can see if there's anything untoward going on. Obviously, I may not be smart enough to look for it, you may not be smart enough to look for it, but some other guy out there is going to be checking for us and he'll be tell us. He'll tell us, trust me, he will. 
if something's up okay loads of options for inputs and outputs you can choose whether you're receiving audio from a browser you can choose whether you're recording this screen or your other monitor you can choose whether you're, you're taking in input from your mic or your webcam it's a it's a very diverse software very uh, it's got a lot of options basically okay and there's plenty of tutorials because it's the standard software it's everyone's go-to which means all the tutorials are going to be made about it if it's the most easiest the best and just the the best in general to use everyone's going to be making tutorials about it everyone's going to be updating it because it's open source and it's just going to be an infin infinite loop of just making it better okay I, I may be bigging up OBS a, li a little bit too much here but it is a good software okay it can run on lower end pcs uh, this video isn't sponsored i'm just g going on a rant okay it can run on lower end pcs um i've tried it on a pc from the early 2000s it ran on that just fine which means uh if you've got a lower spec pc it should work on it it might be a bit slow but then again everything's going to be slow on that pc cons it doesn't have the best ui okay it can be a little bit confusing for beginners just due to the sheer amount of options okay so i recommend maybe downloading it getting a feel for the software uh, these things take time to learn so maybe have it for a week feel it out and if you don't like it maybe settle for a different option the clip feature still exists right because this is one of nvidia's primary selling points right how easy it is to clip stuff however uh, and it's called the replay buffer if you want to search it up however it's not as user friendly okay you're going to struggle a little bit more with OBS than something like Nvidia Shadowplay, but OBS does have obviously uh, the, just a more diverse, it's just a better software, okay? Uh, in my honest opinion, download OBS, okay? Play around with it, get a feel for the software. Doesn't matter if you're doing streaming, recording, or clip farming, you should be good with whatever.